Hi guys, this is Desktop Tech Pros. In this video, I'll be showing you how to upload your site files to the remote server on Dreamweaver CS5. So what you want to do is you want to go to Site, click Manage Sites. You want to click New to create to find a site, or if you've already got one like I have, click Edit. You need to name your site. If you've already named it, don't worry. Same with the local site folder. You need to define where it's going to be stored. Next, you're going to need to go to Servers. If you've already got a server, and you've got it remote, just leave it, but you can click on add down there. You need to say what your server's called. Mine's called DTP Web, Web Server. I connect via FTP. You can have to select other things if you select otherwise. Your FTP address, username and password, root directory, web URL, all that, etc. Or you can go to the advanced option, which I don't use this, but if you do, then go ahead. So that's how to connect to your so once you're connected to it, click remote there, click save. I'm going to click cancel to back out of this. Click okay, done down there. Now you're going to need to connect to your remote server. So and go down to remote view. So that's that's the button to connect to the remote server. And then go down to remote server here. Then go down to the public HTML folder. I've got two of them, so I'm going to have to click on both to upload. I'll go back up to the top one. Click the up arrow to upload. The down arrow it will get everything from your server and you can store it on your local hard drive and edit it in Dreamweaver if you've already got it up and you don't have it on your computer. But I'm going to upload. Click up. Click yes and yes to all if options come up to put independent files into overwrite things, etc. As you can see, some of the files are not being transferred because they are the same as before. Well, I haven't actually updated my website, so I don't actually need to do this. If I updated my website, it would have been uploading more files than it is right now. So now I've uploaded to that one, I'm going to have to upload to this one as well. I'm going to click yes to all. You may say an FTP error occurred, but it will upload it again until it is uploaded. You can see it tried three times there. I've already got 3.jpg on the server, so it doesn't really matter if it doesn't transfer because I've already got it. So now I've done that, I'm going to close out of this, minimize it, go onto the internet, go onto my site, and here we have it. As my site uploaded from Dreamweaver. Mine's hosted by three virtual servers, and uh, I did have a site before made by their web maker. Uh, if you've been on my site before, it obviously looks different to you. Uh, but this is how to do it. Thank you very much, Desktop Tech Pros.